Drax engineers have got quite a unique mindset. So they approach the impossible knowing that there is a way to achieve that. My dad was a miner. Uh, my parents moved to the area when he started working on the Serby Coalfield. When I first joined Drax over 11 years ago now, Drax was just in the process of converting from coal to biomass. I first joined Drax when it was six units burning exclusively coal, which was quite close to my heart in that the majority of my family worked down the pit locally. So the idea that I was coming to a big coal fire power station was quite an exciting sort of legacy family thing for me. Since Drax was built in the mid-80s, the UK energy landscape has transformed massively. Drax transitioned from coal to biomass because it was a way that we could make use of an existing asset and also fight climate change. It would have had a huge impact if Drax wouldn't have converted and there's a strong chance we'd have been in the same position now as the other power stations in the area which are no longer operating. We were going through the co-firing stages, doing a lot of tests on site, looking at what fuels we could use and building up the, the on-site infrastructure to handle the conversion from coal to biomass. When we first did a full unit trial on shift, it was a scary time for us all, um, but it was also exciting because it meant that we might be able to continue running the power station into the future if we could get it to work. Conversion of Drax power station from coal to biomass was, was a leap of faith by the company and, and all the engineers who, and everybody involved who managed to do it. It was by no means certain it, it would have worked. As an engineering team, it's really reassuring and refreshing working for Drax. Being reassured that you can challenge the norm and leadership aren't afraid of supporting change for the right reasons. The switch from low percentage co-firing then to full unit conversion then to three units and then eventually the fourth unit was a, a massive achievement for me personally and I, I think for everybody that um, was involved in that at Drax. When I first joined Drax, the logistics team, around 10 people, were really focused on making sure we got biomass to the units every day, all day, every day. Our global supply chain has also evolved significantly over the last 10 years. Initially, we bought pellets from third parties, but now we've invested in pellet mills in North America, in the US and in Canada. We went to the US South because it had a high availability of sustainable biomass. Um, the pulp and paper sector had declined, and that meant that we saw opportunities that we could come in behind that decline and pick up and stimulate the forestry sector by using their residual biomass materials. Drax plays a big role in the local economy uh, from educational outreach or inspiring uh, young people and giving them opportunity for well-paid skilled jobs of the future to supporting our local communities. We're trying to make sure there's skills for the future by partnering with local colleges to make sure that there's good training opportunities available. So many schools in the local area benefit from us reaching out to them. Drax's outreach has evolved as we become a global company, so we look to support our sites and offices. Across the world, there's over 2,000 coal-fired power stations. So if just a fraction of those could be converted to run on sustainable biomass, that's going to give the world a real opportunity to get to net zero. BEX is bioenergy, carbon capture and storage. What that means is we're able to use that technology to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and lock it away forever. As long as there are suitable storage 
locations for the carbon dioxide and as long as there is suitable feedstock in terms of the fuel then BEX is absolutely got to be part of the solution to get to net zero and prevent global warming and that's going to need a, a completely different set of skills building for the future. Upskilling is really important for where we're going as a business. There's going to be a lot of new skills um, required for BEX. Um, I think some of the job roles that are going to be available, we don't even know what they're going to be yet. I think the mentality that we adopted when we moved from coal to biomass has, has carried on within Drax and that um, can be seen through the pilot projects at Drax for BEX and also through other projects in the US that are being trialled to bring Drax into the future with new technologies. Drax has always had the ability to stay one step ahead. It's been really important that the people we have look forward and think collaboratively. I think it's Drax's culture that allowed us to convert from coal to sustainable biomass so effectively. That culture of innovation, risk taking, um, figuring things out and making progress quickly. It's that sort of culture that's going to enable us then to do BEX on a global scale.